Hey, what is up everyone? It is Dimension here, back at it with some more Berserk manga readings. We are finally on chapter 170, and Jesus, man, so much has happened so far. I, I can't even describe, like, wh what the fuck is happening, man. And it, it, it's, it's just insane how much stuff is going on, especially with Guts fighting, you know, Father Moses' uh, pseudo-apostle form. And that fight was insane. So I think we're at the ending ending of that fight, and we still got to figure out what that womb that, that had, fem you know, Griffith in it, almost. Because, I don't know, it, it didn't show a figure of of griffith but it just had it had like this white glow especially it be, especially it being uh guts and casca's baby and since it got you know uh ate by the bailets um i don't know there's something incubating and when something was something was last incubating in the last eclipse um it was fucking griffith so i we know that the the god hand can't take form in, in this realm only in the astral realm so i don't know what the fuck is going on man and and i think it's gonna be so fucked if if the baby turns out to become uh griffith or something or his return i don't know but so much shit is going on so i'm just gonna keep on reading and and i'm just gonna shut up because i gotta i gotta see this shit so without further ado let's um let's read some berserk tidal wave of darkness part one Oh, Lord God, I come now into your presence. Yeah, Guts fucked him up here, man. But at least I bring your enemy with me. Oh, shit, his feathers. With the last of my life's flame shall be consumed. Sh shall evil be consumed. Oh, my God. Jerome, Casca, Isidro, Puck... Serpico and Farnese are just looking. I'll pass. It might be your time to meet the god you love so much, but it ain't mine. Fly your own ass to heaven. <laughs> Damn, dude. Guts. Dude, this is just epic. Holy fuck. <sighs> Look at this, dude. Just just the amount of detail Mira is putting in these panels, bro. It's actually amazing. Holy fuck. Could you imagine how much this guy weighs? Like, <laughs> seriously, dude. Guts is so fucking strong. Especially after fighting all his uh, his minions, you know, his um his henchmen, all the torturers. And now they're he's falling onto the crowd. God, look at Farnese's face. All his feathers go away, and he transforms back into a man. Wow. Mother, the angel died. <laughs> she screams. Oh, God. Just look at this thing, just eating all the people. Fuck, dude. That is horrifying. It's just absorbing them and dissolving their bodies. God. Wow. God, it hurts. Why? Don't want to die. Why? Damn you. God, where, where am I? Cold. All you, too. Dark. Somebody. Can't be alone. Hungry. Hot. Body burning. Lord God, why me? Mother, be with me. Wow. Wow. Kill her. Kill the woman. Please, I beg you. Quit thinking you can just... Stupid bastards, quickly. Hurry, do it now. As they get consumed. All of them. Oh, shit, Casca, she's shaking. Uh, what was... You okay, Casca? Oh, yeah. She's going kind of crazy. Oh, is Guts here? Oh, he's hugging her. Oh my god, dude, come on. All the fuck shit going around and he's trying to comfort her this time. Oh my god, what a beautiful panel. Fuck these guys. Oh, what is hatching? What is that? What the fuck is that? 
Seriously, guys, I don't know what the fuck is happening. Tidal Wave of Darkness Part 2. Just look at this thing eat through all the people. They stood no chance. Oh my god. They will all be digested. The ones who drove me away. The ones who bound me. They all will dissolve. It will vanish. Everything of my world, including myself. Whatever you fucking say, you piece of shit. Can you hear it? Mishappen child? The roaring lullaby of death. Why does it have human form now? What the fuck? What the fuck? The tower. Take refuge in the tower. Get to a high place. They can't even go in the tower. It's already in there. Jesus, dude. The front's no good. Go around back. Vice Commander, the crowd is surging into the tower. Oh, there's no other escape route. We've no choice but to withdraw as well. All knights, guard the people's retreat. But the monsters are in the tower too. It's still preferable to this. Fault or not, get as many people through the gate as you can. Vice Commander, the gate. Wait, just to forget about them. Hurry up. Close the gate. We're still out. No, wait. There's still women and children. Wait, hold on. Let me in. What have they done? What have they done? Not again. Oh, it hurts somebody. I wonder if it's broken. Fucking Nina. I have to hurry and run away from here. If I'm too slow, those monsters will. Again, I... Ah. Somebody. Oh. Oh, it hurts. Is anyone there? People. But please, I can't walk. Give me a hand. <laughs> they just... Oh. She was about to get trampled on, huh? but Luca saved her. They're just marching through. Jesus, phew, that was close. Like a stampede of cattle. Sorry I'm so late. <sighs> Are you okay? Luca. Luca! Luca's so sweet, man. I saw you from below. It looks like Elena and the others are alright. Although I wasn't sure what to expect when you fell. Luca, come on now. We don't have time to get lost in reunion. The fuck is that? Something's breaking the wood? Oh no. Can you stand? Yeah, but I can't possibly run. I'll catch up. What do we do? Hide? I need to climb in this barrel. But, but, just do as I say. Whatever happens, don't come out. I can't do this. There's no time. Hurry and put your head in. Luca, what will, Luca, what will you do? I'll figure something out myself. I won't let you. I can't, I can't be alone. I'm scared. This is impossible. I say it won't be without you, and I won't. What are you, a baby? <laughs> she bonks her. <laughs> Two can't fit in a barrel. Besides, if I get in, who will put the cover on? So your fear gets priority over my safety. You really are a devout coward. Don't worry, even when a ship is wrecked by a storm, the barrels just float along. But if you're a coward, you might as well show me the spirit of a coward. Stay still, hold your breath, and keep absolutely quiet. Show me what it means to be really scared. Someone like you might unexpectedly be the most stubborn survivor. Luca. There. She slams her shut. What the fuck is Luca? Is Luca gonna die here, dude? No! Luca! Luca! They've broken through the gate. Man, with that much force, they'll climb up here. Crap, what do we do? Wonder if it's time for farewells. Fire! Look! Fire, yeah. Oh, Mosgus' body. Hey, the gooey stuff avoids the fire. That angel's more useful dead than alive. So they don't like fire, okay. Father Mosgus. Guts reaches out his hand. Whoever doesn't want to die, pick him up. Oh, to burn them, I see. Okay. Shh. Shh. You trying to tell, trying to tell, yelling too, dude? Well, aren't you guys cheerful? I guess we have no choice, even though I detest fire. Hey, pal. Maybe we should leave this exposed place for the tower, too. That's like jumping into the feed box. Make no mistake. That's where most of that stuff's going. Seeking shelter is meaningless against something that can bust a castle gate. 
How? Besides, it'll be dawn soon. Then that's hit by the rising sun. It should either disappear or its power should weaken. Light will get inside the tower. How can he behave this way? In this hopelessness. This is the first place sun'll sun light'll hit, where no one can do anything but cling to something. How can he speak of surviving? We last until morning. We win. So precisely, like it's a matter of course. How? How can his voice sound so reassuring? We're gonna survive. To my ears. Guts doesn't give up, dude. That's what I love about him. Since that day, I've been worried. I've I've worried. I've been wandering around the night. But I had forgotten that this is a world, so the time f has finally come to unseal the secret sword <laughs> puck, upon which the sun does rise. For that alone, I'm much better off than I was then. A way out is cut open. Oh my god, dude, this is actually crazy, guys. Holy fuck. <laughs> the fire, holy fuck, dude. I like how Guts is using a big stick. <laughs> To imitate how big how he can lift. <laughs> Damn it, no matter how much we burn, there's no end. It's one after another. Oh, here comes Puck, though. Dore you! <laughs> we'll just turn all this around, turn all this pain around in anguish into pitiful ash and dioxins with hellish hellfire. Come on, come on, you living trash. Today's trash burning day. <laughs> Eat flame burst, explode in fire, chestnut. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Explosive concussion. Whoop. Don't you whoop me, you punk ass. <laughs> Are you trying to use a joke to fix this mess? <laughs> what are these things? The malice of those who've died of plague or torture in this place. It's absorbing the feelings of the people it's swallowed and, set and steadily expanded. It's full of their bitterness and desire for salvation. I see, okay. It absorbs all the malice, I see. Okay, that's that's crazy, man. If everyone who died bitter turned into this crap, the world would be covered in, in, in it like a spittoon by now. Why is this the only place where it's happening? Well, the brand. Puck notices. He's right. This this kind of thing shouldn't be. This kind of thing. <laughs> to Puck. It mustn't exist. It's the same as that time, like being in a nightmare. Is this truly reality? It's stretch. Oh god, it's like a serpent now. Oh, Guts throws his uh, explosives at it. Oh, that actually does a lot of damage to it. Damn, and Guts slams his sword against it. <laughs> Look how he's posing right here. If you don't want to die, try making yourself a little useful, Lady Farnese. That's true. She's gotta, she's gotta, you know, put effort, or else she's gonna die too. Guts has a point. He stands without retreating in the midst of this overwhelming nightmare. The one and only thing that is certain. Ah, crap. It's creeping up from behind us, too. Get behind me, Lady Farnese. Oh, Lord. Don't pray. If you're praying, your hands are closed. What's that thing in your hands? Fire, right? <laughs> she holds it tightly. Here it comes. Her heartbeat. Ugh. Damn, look at them make a stand here, dude. Would you cut that out? Fire! <laughs> no! Oh, shit. Um, Nina's still in the barrel. No more, I'm gonna get smashed. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Enough, let me out. Hey, let me out of here. At a time like this. Coughing up blood? I might just end up dying anyway, but... But this is warm. Not yet. I don't know yet. The more I feel scared, the more I feel alive. The more blood I cough up, the more I know it's warm. Hold your breath and keep absolutely quiet. Show me what it means to be really scared. I'll try. I'll try to, Luca. I'm scared, but it means I want to live. Yeah, man. Luca's giving her that spirit to, uh, to keep pushing forward. Even though I hate her, but fuck it, you know. I'm glad she wants to be alive. Wait, wait. God... Oh, God. All these people, dude. Oh, my God. This thing is horrifying, dude. Oh, the tower. The fuck? Oh, they're still fighting. Look at that! 
What above? Yeah. What? What? What's going? What's going on? The towers overflowing with monsters. Ah, this is. Dude, look at this art, dude. Holy fuck, man. I gotta really see this for myself because I gotta see all the detail. Beautiful panels, dude. Just the whole tower and everyone getting eight. Look at Guts here. Beautiful. Beautiful. Honestly, so beautiful. It formed a hand. What the fuck? Incredible. The living, the dead. All the souls are here. Are, are crying out in desire for one thing. I feel it. Now all my entire world is is of one thought. It desires the same thing as I. Everything. Crying out. Desires me. No. The world I bring forth. Everything. Will be fulfilled by one voice. Resonance end. Fuck dude. That Baelid is fucked up dude. Why the fuck? Why the fuck is that Baelid hatching that baby? It's not good. It's really not good. Especially the hand here. Like, this is literally the eclipse all over again. They're crying out. They're demanding. Guts look. His satchel? This is resonating with those voices. Settle down, Betchy. <laughs> His Betchy. Oh, my God. Oh, the heartbeat. Hey. Oh, what's going on? G guts. This intense pain. Oh, he feels something. God. Jeez, what? The hand. What is that at the center of the palm? The child. Is this motherfucker coming back? Griffith is actually coming back. Ah, light, brimming. And the Bailey's disappearing now, right? It's getting torn apart. It served its purpose. No, what the fuck? Look at all these bodies, the blood gushing out of them. The faces. Jesus, dude, look at this art. It's amazing. Griffith? What the fuck? When the sky falls at the holy ground where blind sheep gather and erect a pillar of fire, it will come. It's literally prophesizing Griffith's return. It makes so much sense. These guys are the blind sheep gathered around here and erect a pillar of fire. It will come. What the fuck, dude? Get down! Oh, what the fuck, dude? The tower is gone and the light is coming out. What in the fuck? This light. The sky falls and... This motherfucker is really coming back. He's taking human form again. Daybreak. Jesus, look at everyone's body just collapsed with the tower. This light... What an awful mess. Not a single person in the tower survived. We're lucky to be still alive. Both the tower and the monsters gone at night. Wow. Look at Guts and Casket here. Look how they're drawn, man. This is beautiful. I'm gonna save this image. Nina's actually still alive. Holy fuck. How did she not die? <laughs> Puffy haired girl, you're alright. I'm alive. Haha, <laughs> I'm alive. I'm still alive. Alright, Luca. 
Please look. Look for Luca. No, did Luca die? Are you fucking kidding? She was here until a little bit ago. She pushed me into the barrel. I don't know after that. Say what? Luca! Lady! Luca! Luca. Damn, how we'll find her in all this rubble? No, it can't be. No. Luca. Hey. Hey? Did it down here? What she said. Oh, what she said. Hurry up and pull me up. Oh, she's in the well. Thank God. I thought she, she actually died. I'm freezing my ass off here. <laughs> Luca. E cold. Like it or not, this was my only hiding spot, so I jumped. Tell you what, I was sur sure in trouble with those monsters bearing down on me. Is everyone else okay? Sorry to sorry to sorry to worry you, Jerome. Of all the fool. <laughs> oh my God, Nina comes in for a hug. Ah, warmth, just what I needed. <laughs> Puck is like, <laughs> Senor. <laughs> wow, really, so warm. Proof that it's worth being alive. Even so, after all that loud noise, this place really cleaned itself out. It's like fairies played some trick on us. You want some of this? Well, we must be. Really luck. What the fuck? S something came through. Needles? What is this? What? What gives? Oh my god, the Kashan. Kashan? These guys are Kashan. What? Why are they here? Those guys from before? Wow, look at Guts telling Casca to stop. Oh, he gave her his cloak. That's beautiful. Oh, that is actually so sweet of Guts. That is amazing. Oh, fucking Bakiraka. That's the same Krishna Sena. Could he be the one? I don't know. Wow. Silat and his, you know, his, his <laughs> freaking buff dudes. Holy crap. But just as the oracle proclaimed, something has happened in this pagan land, though it's hard to believe suddenly. And they all certainly survived in the midst of that monstrosity. The one we seek is likely among them. Give me a break. We lived all the way till now for this. I call foul. We were up all night too. Agreed. I care not if they suffer some injury. Seize all of them. There's especially no need to go easy on the man with the large sword. Don't presume you can capture him without suffering, suffering casualties. Woman and the kid stay there. <laughs> oh, here comes guts. I refuse. Screw that. Stay here. It, you'll only get in get in their way. <laughs> and guts is gonna destroy these guys. Yep. <laughs> this is why I said this is no time for leisurely witch hunting. Well, I guess I'd rather be stabbed with a sword than eaten by monsters. That's true. Okay, Serpent Go. He's gonna fight them too. That prick was just faking can't stand him <laughs> okay Jerome has to fight as well whoa <laughs> the rock has to be from <laughs> Sidra the finish <laughs> chestnut puck <laughs> personal feelings aside in this situation there's no no one more reassuring to fight beside than you nevertheless I'd say we're out done here no kidding <laughs> I love that serpent go and guts are fighting with, with each other here they're troublesome. Enemy from which to protect the kid and the woman. Uh, but what I'm even more anxious about is the, this party's strength. They've been straining all night against monsters. They're not used to fighting. They must be at their limits. That's true. Eek. Rope? Oh, shit. They got them captured. Oh, no. Don't move. Hey, if you move, the woman will. Oh, my God. This dude. Taking women and children hostage. You are savages, ignorant of the ways of battle. Heathens, what are you doing on our holy ground? What tenacity. Azan! <laughs> I'm surprised he's still alive. He survived the tower collapse. Thankfully, you are unharmed, Lady Farnese. Yes, how did you survive, Vice Commander? The details can wait. First, we must deal with the situation at hand. Hmm? I was away just a while, but strange things are afoot. Heh. It's because Guts is working with them now. <laughs> the fucking Kashan, dude. Get them the fuck out of here, dude. Where's Griffith, dude? We know he just got hatched. Here they come. Oh, Guts feels something, right? Wait. Everyone feels something. What, what the? Oh, come on again? 
Zod, what the fuck? Yo, what the fuck is Zod doing here, dude? <laughs> Yo, Zod, chill. Chill. Oh, his horn is missing, though. He only has one. Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> Zod really pulled up. But, uh, oh my god. Z what is that? What the? More of last night? C cool. Nothing can surprise me now. Zod. Look at this beast. Oh my god. Is he fighting the Kashan or what is he trying to do? Oh, he's, he leaps forward. Why is he here? This is truly amazing and no time for admiration. It is our time to escape. You're right, everyone. Stay together. We're slipping away. Guts looks back. Skull Knight. What the fuck? He points. Heartbeat? He can feel his heartbeat. What is he pointing at? What the fuck? Wait. He's pointing at something. The arrival. Oh my god. Look at Guts here. He, Jesus, dude. This is some amazing art from Mira. Holy fuck, dude. Sometimes Guts looks like so lifelike, man. What is that? The light? Hawks? Or pigeons? I don't know. Feathers? Oh, you are back, you piece of fucking shit. I hope Guts goes into rage mode right now. I hope he comes and just comes and destroy this bitch. You're actually back. You motherfucker. At that moment, all those, all who were there, forgot to breathe and were enthralled. So Zod is heading towards him. Dude, what is Guts feeling at this moment, Griffith? I just, I want him to go hard right here. He needs to go absolutely insane right here. He's not going to hold back. There's no way. What the fuck is Zod doing, though? Does he still have his powers, though? Or is he just... Or is he just... Oh, he's bowing. And they sensed intuitively that the one they desired had come. Fuck this guy, dude. Fuck Griffith. There we go, Guts. Ah. Duh. Oh, Cask. Oh, my God. Dude, what the fuck is he supposed to do? Cask is literally keeping him calm right here. He can't abandon her. Oh, dude, he I know he wants to go in and just destroy this guy. But he can't leave Casca behind. It's beautiful, dude. Beautiful. Just the way he's drawn in everything. <sighs> dude, fuck this, dude. Why the fuck is Griffith back? Capture that man, all of you. But Master Silla, don't lose focus. The reinstatement of our Bakiraka clan rides on this duty. Have you forgotten our bitter history? Being driven from our land for hundreds of years? Do not fear, even if he is something other than human. We are a warrior clan. Know that those who fear death shall never join the ranks of the great. This is once in a lifetime chance. Capture him before that the main army arrives. Oh, they're going for Zod. <laughs> Zod sees them. Dude, Zod is such a beast, dude. Holy fuck, he swole. He destroys them. He actually destroys them. Few of them remain here now. Keep up. Lady Farnese, what are you two doing back there? Hurry up. What the 
fuck. Ah, uh, uh, what the? What is she doing? Guts, we gotta hurry. Is she sensing that Griffith like hit? I I I feel like Casca can sense that you know that flesh that Griffith has taken hold of is the baby. She can sense the baby in 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 Griffith. Oh, dude, what the fuck? This is fucked. Hopefully that's not the case, but I don't know. She looks like it. What the fuck? He's just obliterating them, dude. He's literally obliterating these people. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck is Guts supposed to do here, dude? He's right there. This piece of shit. The arrival end. Fuck him, man. Fuck this guy. I really wanted Guts to just rush in, but he can't leave Casca, dude. But I really like that self-control Guts is having on himself, you know? Not letting himself be consumed by the rage yet. Make haste. We must get as far from Albion as we can. Determination and de departure. Where are Elaine and the swordsmen? No. They can't still be. Wait, Isidro. <laughs> Haven't you had enough? Shove it. Hands off, private. I'll kick you in the privates again. <laughs> oh, they're looking. Eek. I've had enough of you, kid. You want some old man? I'll hunt you down. <laughs> Jerome and Isidro are so like each other, man. They're just childish. The army? Whose army is this? Is this the Kashan? No, no, wait. Holy fuck, man. Look at the art. Like, seriously, look at the detail on all these people. Jesus, dude. Banners? Yeah, it has to be the Kashan or They look they definitely look foreign. They have to be. Elephants. They look sick though. I like I love the 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 design. Even the Kashan main army. It never rains, but it pours. They haven't noticed us. We descend the cliff and escape along the river. No, you're just gonna leave those two? What choice have we got? It's really life or death this time. Son of a bitch. Yeah, they gotta go. They they really can't go back. What, what the? What what the? Zod? He's flying away. Wait. Griffith is on top of him. This son of a fucking bitch. Oh my god. Who is that? Something not human. What now? Guts is on a horse. He's with Casca though, right? <laughs> oh my god. Look at this panel, dude. This is beautiful. Just Casca being... Holding on to Guts and Guts destroying the Kashan army. This is amazing. The detail, man. The beautiful art, honestly. They're still okay. But can just one horseman escape that large army? Don't worry if it's if the horseman's if if the horseman's him. I'm sure what he'll do what it takes to protect Elaine. Hey, hey don't you die on me. <laughs> I'm gonna collect on that debt. Keep your voice down, stupid. <laughs> and he rides off. <sighs> huh? It's not many, but some people besides us made it. It's ironic. All those who clung to God, taking refuge in the tower, died when it collapsed under their own weight. Hey, what the hell happened there? The non-believers who didn't rely on God, but instead hightailed it out of the refugee slum, were the ones who survived. I don't exactly care to pray ever again at this point. <laughs> That's not it all. That's not it at all. Try to go on living is different than trying to escape from fear. Those who acted in order to live until the end, without losing themselves to fear and what was happening around them, are the ones who survived properly. We don't know what God is thinking, but both fortune and misfortune are thrust upon people. Some deep words from Luca, man, honestly. Even so, people exist within a domain that is theirs in which to act. Luca, what's that for? Oh, this? The chick that died within the egg. Eh? He died without ever hatching, without ever meeting or knowing anyone. It's not much, but it's the best I can do here. Oh, the egg. 
A lonely one like him is sleeping alone under all that rubble. I thought I would pay him tribute. At least one person. However much a sinner. Wow, that is very kind from Luca. Even though he fucking gave birth to our con, Mr. Griffith. But if his wish was granted, what's in store for the world? Well, it doesn't make much difference what I think of it. I'm not even a main character. <laughs> Take care, ladies, and the rest. Farewell. <laughs> you could have one on the houses, thanks. Yeah. I'm in a hurry. The boy with the s s slouch in his stride. I'll take a rain check. <laughs> now those. Those were some restless people. Talk about a relief. It would have been nice to at least say goodbye to Elaine. True. I wonder if she'll be okay. Didn't I say so? As long as that swordsman is with her, no worries. He didn't even bat an eye, that monster Mos Mosgus. It's just, one thing bothers me. The power to protect someone and the power to be with someone are different. But now I'm being over material. Maternal. It's a bad habit of mine. No, no, that's not true. The one who's really strong is Luca. She always has time to worry about people. I could never mimic her. I'm going to cool my, cool my foot off. Are you okay? All this has made me realize my own disgrace and foolishness so much. It's sickening. Yeah, it's gotten well enough that I can go alone. No, actually I'm relieved. Now that I know that. I'll stay at Luca's side, listen to her, and let her protect me. That's the best thing for me, I'm sure. Okay, Nina. Nanina! Oh my god, jo Joaquim. Who's there? Jo Joaquim? Joaquim, you were alright? Yeah. I was scared to go back to the refugee slum. After that, I've been hiding in the mountains. Then the Kashan came by morning and the tower had collapsed and the refugee slum was a burnt field. I saw all of you over run over this way. And so, I wanted to apologize to you. Back then, I was... I was scared of you. I thought I... If I didn't betray you, you all would kill me. You all would kill me. I just... I can't just say this now, but, but I really felt... He's the same as me. I thought maybe if we were together, and still, I was a coward who abandoned you. I'm sorry. The same. Goodbye. W wait He is like, like Nina. Wait. The Tower of Rubble. It disappeared like a sandcastle. Fragile. All too fragile. The thing I stood for. The thing I had faith in. Was it so empty a thing? Faith. No, not that. It was nothing more than a diversion, hiding myself behind order and awe. To escape fear. To escape frantically the darkness of that night from my childhood. Even if it was only an occasional outlet for despair, my faith was sullied. But all this ostentation which should have protected me, was brushed away so easily in the face of such uh, such an overwhelming darkness. That was again, no perhaps I always have been, in the midst of that night. Be that as it may, how did you come through that, Vice Commander? Fighting the monsters before the gate. I lost consciousness as the gate collapsed and buried me. My iron club acted as a support that kept me from being crushed. Oh, <laughs> Literally. But when I came to, I was the only one still alive beneath the rubble. What an uncouth, uh, uncouth plight. Again, I have survived ignobly. Driven by fear, the refugees closed the gates, betrayed on the field of battle by those I must protect. To live long enough to have that bitter experience again. What ill luck. No doubt all the knights felt, uh, chagrined, or chagrined, I don't know. Lady Farnese, it was because of that incident that I have adorned myself as a priest until now. I'm departing. Are we returning to the Holy City then? I will follow the Black Swordsman. Oh, she's actually going to follow him. What? You mustn't. We must return to give our, our report. I'm renouncing my vocation. Wow. <laughs> Tell that to the Holy See and my father. Well, well, that is the way of things. You have been most helpful, Vice Commander. <laughs> no, and Servergo's of course gonna follow her. <laughs> yes, dude, Servergo and Farnese are gonna follow Guts. No, wait a moment. Wait, you two. Here's some food as thanks if you'll accept. Thanks. This is desertion. I never escaped from that childhood darkness after all. That then ultimately took shape and appeared before my eyes. Almost as if it were my destiny. I, who continued to live in fear. 
I was brought along with the black swordsman, the only one standing in the darkness. Maybe he is my prophet, my saint. Wow. Please slow down, <laughs> Serpago. I may have been running from a painful reality. This may be a good opportunity, but someone must bear responsibility. They left. Phew, I'm safe. You're welcome. We'd be in trouble too if we, if we lost such an important uh, patron from now on. Hiding behind women is pathetic. <laughs> you know, Nina's taking forever. Hey, introduce me to an aristocrat patron too. No fair. Me too, me too. Someone richer than you if possible. <laughs> Joaquim and Nina, are you sure? Yeah. If I went back now, I don't think I could have leave again. I'm sorry, Luca, to worry you to the very end. I'm going with Joaquim. I love you. All of you. But if I stayed with you, I'm sure someday I would hate you again and hate myself. A person hurts someone just because they're strong, and they hate someone just because they're weak. I, I know that well enough. That's why. I think I'll go with this man who is burdened with the same weakness and sins as I. Wow. Because if I'm with him, I have a good feeling. We can both become just a little kinder and stronger. I want to be someone who can trust others without clinging to them. I want to live, keep on living, and see you again. Without clinging or fearing. So slow. Do you girls mind? <laughs> Once I can smile with your sincerity. <laughs> I love that Jerome is going to stay with the girls. She really is a troublesome girl. That day, starting with the fissure opening the frontier, the shape of the world began to crumble. Conviction arc, birth ceremony chapter at the end. Holy fuck, that's it. That's, um, birth ceremony. The birth ceremony chapter. Alrighty, guys, we finished this, man. This was amazing. This was absolutely amazing. All this was just beautiful and, and crazy, dude. Absolutely crazy. So, yeah, volume 21, man. Holy shit. Yeah, the... The birth ceremony chapter was crazy. I think, I think honestly, it was just so much happened. Like, it, this conviction arc is just crazy, dude. Griffith is back. This motherfucker is back, and he took the body of the baby of Casca and Guts. And it, it's it's really insane, guys. I. I think Casca really felt the presence of her baby in, in, in Griffith, and I think that's why she kind of, like, called out to him. Or maybe she just recognized Griffith and called out to him. I don't know. It's one of the two, but maybe it's both. Maybe she felt both the presence of Griffith and also the baby in, in, inside of that body. And it, it's crazy, dude. It, it's this, this is literally getting so much more fucked up, and I really wish Guts could have gone crazy here, but, you know, he really, you know stopped himself and he realized it's not important he's got to he's got to you know save his he, he's got to stay with casca at that moment he literally almost abandoned her but he was like no he, he has to stay with her and i really admired that about guts i loved how everyone went their separate ways and although they couldn't really say goodbye to each other it was still you know it was still nice seeing them all depart on their own paths and journeys and i'm so surprised for nina too she actually got ended up pretty decent Although I kind of hate her still, um, she kind of redeemed herself a little bit in these last chapters. But regardless, um, Luca was okay. Jerome, Serpico, and Farnese and <laughs> and Azan are gonna go uh, follow, I guess, the Black Swordsman. So they're still gonna be on the journey. And but yeah, I feel like in the future um, we're probably gonna see Guts versus Zod because Zod is you know working with uh, Griffith, you know, hand in hand. And he's got to, he's got to die. You know, as much as I love uh, Zod, he kind of works for Griffith. And anyone who works for Griffith is a piece of shit. So, um, yeah, although he is my favorite apostle, I, uh, he's got to die. Because Guts and Griffith are definitely going to rematch one more time, hopefully. And, dude, shit's just going to go down for sure. Alrighty guys, that was the conviction arc. We finally completed it. We are finally moving on to the next arc. The so I noticed that on the wiki for uh, 
for Berserk. It's uh, it's called the Falcon of the Millennium Empire arc. And uh, here in, in, in the online Berserk manga readings, they, they call it the Hawk of the Millennium Empire arc. So you guys let me know how you guys want me to name it. I'll definitely, every time Hawk is mentioned, I can switch to Falcon if you guys want to. But uh, I, don't, I, don't really, I don't really don't understand why it's called Falcon instead of Hawk. But uh, you guys let me know. But yeah, that was amazing. We finished the Conviction arc. And so much was that. It was literally amazing. This was an amazing arc. And honestly, I think it's a very very strong arc i love the religious themes that it explores and the religious imagery and symbolisms and just a lot of stuff that you know kind of I, I just love the how it goes medieval and and really shows you know kind of a lot of history behind uh well, what happened during you know those those medieval days and uh berserk really portrayed it perfectly in the conviction arc and it was amazing um it was so cool to see you know witch hunts the the heresy, the the blasphemers, the just everything was amazing in that. And uh, honestly, I would love to talk about more about the conviction arc, but I'll probably save that for a future video on when I start ranking, you know, arcs. But I'll just talk about the conviction arc a little bit, and I just think it was just overall solid story. I loved it as much as I loved the Golden Age, and uh, for being the you know the second arc of uh, f uh well technically the third arc because Black Swordsman and was the first, and then Golden Age for it being the third arc was amazing. And I can't wait to see Guts' journey continue still. And uh, yeah, it, it's crazy. It's honestly so crazy. And I, I, I really hope for the best in this new arc. And I wonder what it's going to bring us. I love the characters that were introduced in the Conviction arc. And I hope, hopefully we'll see them again in the Millennium, uh, the, the Falcon of the Millennium Empire arc. Um, it, it's crazy, man. It's really crazy. So thank you guys for joining me on this journey. This was amazing. Uh, like I said, the art was perfect in this one and honestly mirror did some amazing work and i feel like his artwork is only going to get better and better especially from here on and i can't wait to see more and uh yeah you guys let me know what you guys saw the conviction arc and reading it with me and seeing my reactions i know i'm not the best reactor out there and i i, I mess up on words and i forget some things but of course you know i'm only human so i mean <laughs> there's a lot to take in when you're reading berserk so so, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it with me. I love the Conviction arc. It was amazing. And so much, so much happened. In it. It's crazy. It's so crazy. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And we are finally done with Conviction arc. We are so close to uh, reaching that final arc. And, you know, the journey has to come to an end sometime soon. And I'll finally be caught up with Berserk. And we'll move on from there. And... And it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. This this manga is taking me through a journey like no other, and I can't wait to see what else it has in store for me. And there's so much more to read still, and I'm I'm cherishing every moment with you guys. This is this is something I love truly. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please do leave a like down below. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Comment down below if you're enjoying the Berserk manga readings, or if you just want to talk about some some conviction art. Just leave it down below. And as always, guys, take care and peace.